These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for July the 24th, 2022. This week's blog post is the timeline from 1900 to 2021, part 9, covering 1980 to 89. This is the ninth in a series of 12 posts. In this decade, Reagan goes hardline on the USSR. The moral majority rises. Inflation peaks at 14.76%. The stock market loses 22%. MS-DOS is introduced. And we were entertained by Raiders of the Lost Ark, Michael Jackson's Thriller, and much more. As before, please tell me if you see errors or omissions. This will come out as a book of 100 pages or so at the end of the summer. Second recommendation. Dick Francis, Hot Money, 1987. The hero is a jockey, and his father trades in gold. Francis's Banker, which I recommended a couple years ago, is also from the 1980s, when it was still conceivable to have a financial wizard as a hero. Almost all Francis's main characters start out low-key, but turn out to have intelligence and courage in abundance. If you're already a fan, I've given you a link to Francis's description of his writing routine. Third recommendation... John Williams, Movie Soundtracks. Google him on YouTube and listen to any collection of his film scores. They're remarkably good and remarkably familiar. Perhaps the most famous orchestral works today for those who don't normally listen to orchestral works. I've given you links to two of them that I liked, two collections that I liked. The fourth recommendation this week is a movie from the 1980s. Diane Drenty Writer has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, architecture, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday Recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on the screen or email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on dianedurantywriter.com. As always, thank you for listening.